What's up, fellas? Back with a top 10 greatest hits. So I had a patron supporter who wanted to know the 10 biggest dating myths. All right, guys, so I thought this was a good topic. Uh, well, a lot of you guys don't know whether it's red pill milk or blue pill milk. There are a lot of milks circulating. And so I'm finna dispel a lot of them right fucking now. Number one, women leave you when you lose your job. That is the biggest piece of bullshit I ever heard in my life. Women leave you when you lose your confidence. Now, what's the issue with this? Well, most men lose their confidence if they lose their job. But if you can maintain your confidence with losing your job, your woman won't go nowhere as long as it's short term. I Listen, I'll leave your ass if you fucking out of a job for three fucking years. You can't, listen, all right, let's cut the shit right now. You can, I, listen, if you my friend right now, right, if you my friend right now, and you lose your job, cool, we still friends. If two years from now, you still ain't got no goddamn job, we ain't friends no more. All right, I ain't finna be, I ain't finna remain friends with some motherfucker sitting around moping, woe is me, lifestyle. So you damn well can't expect a woman to. So yes, if you lose your job and eight months later you still sitting around feeling sorry for your goddamn self, you goddamn right you're gonna lose your woman. But if you think you're gonna lose your woman, you know, the first week you lost your job, it just ain't gonna happen. The thing is, when you lose your confidence. Now, when I'm talking about confidence, I'm not even talking about, you know, the charisma part of confidence. I'm just talking about the strength that comes with confidence. The abundance mindset that comes with confidence. You lose that and what ends up happening is you start acting in a scarcity mindset and what ends up happening, you don't talk, you know, you don't stand up for yourself and you don't, you stop checking your woman and shit like that. And of course you lose some of your sexual charisma because confidence comes, you know, the confidence you feel in yourself creates that sexual charisma. And if you don't have that sexual charisma, then you can't make her feel a certain type of way. Okay, guys? But yes, confidence is always going to be the biggest thing. And I'm speaking from a, 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 the aspect of you being with the woman that views you as an alpha male. If you're with the woman who views you as a beta male, yes, if you lose your job and you don't replace it real quick, you will lose your woman because she's with you primarily because you're a beta male provider. All right, so if you can't do that, then she has no use for you. Your sexual... Your sexual charisma doesn't mean anything to her. She's not with you for that. She's only with you because she's looking for a provider. That's why I prefer you guys not to be in relationships, you know, or or even date. You know, I don't mind you sleeping with women who view you as beta male provider, but I don't I don't advocate for men putting women in a rotations or being in a monogamous relationship with a woman who who views you as a beta male provider. First of all, the relationship, it just it it just feels like bullshit. All right. And, and and what happens when you out when you date women continuously or put women in your rotation who views you as a beta male provider, what ends up happening, guys, is it lowers your self it lowers your confidence and self-esteem because you can feel that. And what ends up happening is this is what you start to expect from women. You expect this little low in, you know, low interest bullshit. I want you guys dating women who views you as alpha males. Women who jump when you say jump. When I say jump, I don't mean like literally. I mean when you say you want to see them, they clear their schedule to see you. And that only comes with women who view you as alpha males. So I'm taking this from a, 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 a the, the level of you dating women who view as you as an alpha male. But whether she views you as an alpha male or beta male, it really don't matter. It don't, it don't matter. If you don't get a job quick, if you don't get a job, you know, soon, yes, you're going to lose your woman. I'm talking about you ain't going to lose her today or tomorrow or next week as long, long as you maintain your confidence. But, yes, if six months down the road you, ain't got, you still ain't got no damn job, yeah, you're going to lose your woman. And matter, if you six months down the road and you lost your job, I ain't finna be fucking with you. I'm not finna sit around and be friends with some old feeling sorry for themselves motherfucker. I just don't fuck with that shit, dude. I just, that's just not me. If, if, if right now I lost every fucking thing, I'll be cleaning outhouses to take care of myself. 
I'll be at fucking McDonald's, Burger King. I'll do whatever. I'm a motherfucking man. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm not finna be sitting around moping six months later feeling sorry for my goddamn self. So I ain't finna hang around no motherfuckers like that. Goddamn, get off the ground, wipe yourself off, and get back to grinding. That's how I look at it. All this feeling sorry for yourself. I know a lot of you guys didn't grow up with fathers and shit like that. And I, I had the benefit of growing up with an uncle and shit like this. And we had hardships. And he just did whatever it took. He ain't sit around moping. So that's what I saw. I don't know how to sit around feeling sorry for myself because I lost a goddamn job. I, you, I told y'all guys I done lost jobs before. And I had to go get bullshit jobs. You better damn well believe I ain't sit around feeling sorry for myself. I bet you that. Alright, number two. Men and women love each other. That's the biggest piece of bullshit I ever seen. Men and women love the way we make each other feel. If you love that other person, then you could never fall out of love with them. How do people fall out of love? Well, that person stops making you feel the way they once did. So when a woman falls out of love with you, essentially what happens is she didn't fall out of love with you, the person. What happened is you aren't making her feel the way you once did. And so now she's falling out of love because you're not giving her those same emotions. A lot of times they just come from getting comfortable in the relationship. You know how you motherfuckers be all smooth and charismatic at the beginning of the relationship and then as the relationship goes on, it starts to feel more like a fucking friendship than a fucking relationship because you don't, you know, just done got too comfortable and you're falling in bed and all this other bullshit and you're talking to your girl like she your fucking grandma and shit like that. This is what happens when you so this is how women fall out of love, guys. Is that you don't make them feel the same way you once did. The same go for women. Now, a lot of the times, the way we act correlates with the way they act. So when you lose your sexual charisma and you start getting, you know, losing your confidence and swag in a relationship, what ends up happening is she starts moving into her masculine energy and now you don't find her as attractive as she once did because she ain't feminine no more. So women are a direct correlation on how we act, guys. They're a reflection of us. But no, men and women do not love each other. We simply love the way we make each other feel. When the other one, when, we, when the person you're dating stops making you feel a certain type of way, that's when you fall out of love. Number three, and this is a big one. This is more for you young guys because I see this all over the, um, you know, everywhere. Money, looks, and status is, you know, the most important thing. That's bullshit. Confidence is always going to be the most important thing in dating, guys. Now, it just so happens that men get a lot of their confidence from external factors. And with me, guys, I don't really give a fuck where you get it from. You know, if it takes you getting, you know, better fashion, if it, if it means you getting more popular, if it means you getting a better job, whatever. I don't care how you get the confidence, lose weight, whatever. I don't care how you get the confidence. But confidence is always number one. You know, that's just the way it is. Uh, with me, a lot of my confidence, and I'm not even talking about the abundance, mind, but abundance mindset right now. I'm just simply talking about, just as in me personally, my weight and, you know, because I get a lot of my confidence from how I feel like I feel, how I look about myself, how I feel, how I look. That's, how, that's, just, that's just the way it is. So when, if you feel like you look good, and I hope all you guys feel like you look good. As long as my weight's in check, my confidence is going to be on high. When I eat one Twinkie too many or a few fries too many, that's when I can goddamn start to, you know, doubt myself just a little bit. I, I Just a little bit. I always, you know, I think I could be 400 pounds and still, I'm going to still feel like I'm entitled to a dime. But I'll be lying that I don't say that, hey, how I feel about myself when I'm 250 and how I feel in myself at 225 if I don't feel like I just, if I'm more confident at 225. Now, I still feel like I'm a bad motherfucker at 250. I just feel like I'm a more bad motherfucker at 225, if that makes sense to you guys. All right? But confidence is always going to be number one, guys. Always going to be number one. Number four. And this going to be more for the red pill, guys. All women cheat. All women are capable of cheating, but I'm, it, all women are capable of cheating, but it don't necessarily mean that they will cheat. So if you are with a woman who views you as an alpha male, 
who views you as an alpha male and her interest level is high and you've built the attachment, that woman is technically closed off from cheating. And any of you guys are wondering what this looks like, this is the woman who, if you go up and talk to her, she won't even see you. You're not even there. She's not even emotionally available. And this is what I tell you guys when y'all guys take rejections wrong. A lot of time it's timing. If a woman is with a man she views as an alpha male and she has a high interest in and she's chasing his validation and he's built the attachment, you is not going to fuck that woman. I'm telling you that shit right now. I'm telling you that right now. You are not going to fuck that woman. She's not emotional. As a matter of fact, even if they break up or they stop talking or something, for a couple of weeks or a few, or maybe a couple of months, she's not even open to giving her number out or anything, guys. Even if she meets another man she's attracted to, that woman is emotionally closed off. If you're with a woman that views you as an alpha male, I'm going to tell you right now, that woman eat shit, sleep your ass. I am telling you right now, if you were the woman that views you as an alpha male, you could literally come home right now and tell that woman, if she could have two kids and say, listen, I ain't trying to be, you know, in no family or nothing like that, you know. You want to do something with them kids. That woman would seriously contemplate giving her goddamn kids away. When, when she, when she, if you built the attachment that good. Now, I'm not saying she will, but she damn sure will give it some serious thought, guys. Y'all have no idea how when you have built that attachment with women and they're constantly chasing your validation, that woman can't even see another dude. Can't even, can't even, he could be the biggest baller. That woman would not even give a fuck, period. Now, this is only for when a woman is with a dude she perceives as an alpha. If she views you as an alpha male, this is that, that, it only goes for that. Now, every woman is capable of cheating. I want to put that out there. But I'm not saying all women will cheat. If you're doing what you're supposed to, and you got her chasing your validation, and you hitting her with that sexual charisma, and you know how to goddamn say all the right things when you with her, that woman, that, that woman just floats on cloud nine. She can't even think of no, nothing else. She can't even think. That woman, when that woman wake up in the morning, you the first thing on her goddamn mind. When she go eating her lunch, you on her goddamn mind. When she go to bed at night, you on her goddamn mind. That woman ain't even got time. She, let's say, let's say y'all are just dating. And not nothing serious, right? Just dating. She'll entertain some jackasses and, you know, use them for their attention and shit like that. Text and shit like that. She ain't gonna fuck them. She'll use them, but she ain't finna fuck them. She'll let them take on dates and everything. She ain't finna fuck them. She, that, when y'all, a lot of the times y'all wonder why y'all go on these dates with some of these women, but you can't fuck them, but they seem to be like having a good, but they do everything, but they won't fuck. That's because she's attached to some other jackass. She chasing his validation. She don't want to fuck you. She wonder what the fuck he doing. That's why you couldn't fuck her, even though you know you're doing everything right. Even though you know you got your shit together. Even though you know you hit her with the sexual charisma. She still, she, she just, she ain't there. She ain't emotionally available to sleep with you. Yeah, she'll use you for some, you know, some time to, to keep her mind off that motherfucker because that's who she really wants, but she's not finna sleep with you. Period. And that wouldn't even be technically classified as cheating because you're just dating. But it goes tenfold if you with a woman and you say you one of my purple pill guys and a woman views you as an alpha male and you got her chasing your validation, that woman ain't gonna cheat on you. How's she gonna cheat? She spent all the goddamn day wondering what the fuck you doing. How's she gonna cheat? All right, so that's that's more for my red pill brothers because I know a lot of you guys think all women all women cheat, all women are capable of cheating. But as long as you doing what you supposed to be doing, as long as you hitting her with the sexual charisma, as long as you got her chasing your validation and you not giving it to her, as long as you maintaining your confidence and swag and shit like that and not giving her, you spend most of your time on your purpose and shit and you get her one or two days out of the week and she constantly chasing your validation, how she gonna cheat? She, she's just emotionally not available to cheat, guys, if that makes sense. Number five. Not all women cheat. This one for my blue pill brothers. See what I did there? Not all women cheat. So what's a common thing y'all hear a lot about if you go to some of these blue pill dating channels and you read some of the comments? The first thing they say, well, not all women cheat. All women cheat. All women are capable of cheating at the very least. And if you're a blue pill, uh, if you if you blue pill and you're not watching, no blue pill guys are watching this. So this is just me just speaking 
you know, for the hell of, um, you know, because ain't no blue pill guys watching me. And once you, by default, as soon as you watch my content, you can't call yourself blue pill no more. It, 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 unless you just in denial. You can't say you blue. You can say you purple pill. You can't say you blue pill no more unless you just delusional and de in denial. But if you are a blue pill guy, a woman is definitely going to cheat on you. Because by, by, let's, let's, so let me break this down. Only red pill and purple pill men can be alpha males. Because if some part of being an alpha male, you have to have an understanding of female nature. All the alpha male you all the alpha males you guys know, they have an understanding that women ain't shit. They they have an understanding on that. And so what ends up happening, guys, is if you're an alpha male, you are incapable of falling in love with the woman. And if you don't never fall in love with the woman, you maintain your strength. Blue pill guys fall in love with women and they lose their strength. And if you lose your strength, your woman got to get that strength from somewhere else. So by technically of that by itself, if you're a blue pill guy, a woman is going to cheat on you because you don't have the strength she's looking for. You're weak. Now, you might be a beta male provider and she might want to be in a relationship with you, but you're weak. And when I say weak, I don't mean weak because you're in a relationship. I mean weak because you're not going to be able to put her in a place because you're in love. This is why... Once you fall in love, that's why shit go to hell. That's why most of you guys over here who got your heart broke, that's why your heart got broke, because you fell in love. It's okay to love a woman. You can never fall in love with a woman because you lose your strength. And you sort of get a scarcity mindset almost. No matter who you is, you get a scarcity mindset because it ain't about you finding another woman. You want to keep this woman because you fell in love with her. So it's not even about, oh, I can't get another woman. It's that you're in a scarcity mindset with this particular woman. So once you do that, by default, if you're a blue pill, a woman is going to cheat on you. Period. She got to get that strength from somewhere. There's no way around it. You're just not strong enough. So yes, if, if for any blue pill men that say not all women cheat, well, all women are capable of cheating. And if you're a blue pill, they're definitely going to cheat on you. Number six, some men are alpha and some men are beta. There are no universal alpha males and there are no universal beta males. You are what you think you are. If you have an abundance mindset, listen, I was out with my man, uh, my comedian friend, Fat, last night. He is five foot five tops, kind of heavy for his height. He, may, he, he got his own business, he does pretty well, but he's not wealthy or nothing like that. But you can't tell him he's not the shit. That's because he thinks he's the shit. You are what you think you are. If you think you're a beta, you're a beta. If you think you're an alpha, you're an alpha. This simply just boils down to having an abundance mindset and having a good understanding on the world. Some people are going to like you. Some people aren't. Some of you guys think I'm good looking. Some of you guys say I'm not. I say I'm good looking. That's all that matters to me. Your opinion don't matter. There are no universal alphas. You are what you think you are. Some women are going to see you as an alpha male. Some women are going to view you as a beta male. Nothing wrong with, you know, having sex with women who view you as a beta male, but do not date them. And damn sure don't get in a relationship with them. It's good to sleep with them, but just keep it to that. If you're going if you're going to put women in your rotation, make sure there are women who view you as an alpha male. If nothing else, it's just easier and you're going to get more cooperation from them. Period, guys. And it's, if you're a purple pill and you dating a woman who views you as a beta male, I'm telling you right now, she's going to constantly cheat on you. So you definitely only want to deal with women who view you as an alpha male. And if a woman views you as an alpha male and you start to lose your strength and you don't know how to make her chase your validation, she'll cheat on your ass too. The only way a woman won't cheat on you is she views you as an alpha male and you constantly got her chasing your validation. All right, guys. All right, number seven, you can't get out the friend zone. You most definitely can get out the friend zone. This was something I've been hearing since I was a little kid. You definitely can get out the friend zone, guys. You simply have to raise your sexual market value. Well, that could be status. It's just to what the woman values. 
That's how that's 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 simply what it's what she values. Now, the best way to well, like I tell you guys, what's the best way to always raise your sexual market value? Just attract hotter chicks. Get date hotter chicks. But that aside, let's say, let's say you you want a girl at your job, right? And so she can't see the women you date because you let's just say you don't bring the women you date to the job, but you want her. But she's friends on you. So how are you supposed to get her? You know, you, what you going to do? Bring the women you date to the job? So let's say that's not an option. So how could you get her? Well, you could raise your status. You could get, you could start making more money, get a hustle on the side. If that's what she's into. If she's not a girl that's fascinated with money, that won't work. That won't work. If you if you got a girlfriend, a, a, a home girl right now, and she's not one of those girls that's fascinated by money, you making more money won't work. If she's a girl that's not fascinated by you having a big social circle, that won't work. I can tell you one surefire way that I've always seen work, and that's raising uh, dating how to chicks. That's 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 the surefire way. Another way, guys, and this is just not a time effective way to go about doing it. If you be her friend long enough, you can catch her vulnerable. The reason I don't want you guys going that route because you don't never know how fucking long it's going to be. It could be one year. It could be five years. It could be 10 years. You never fucking know. You have to catch her vulnerable. So you don't want to go that route. So the, the thing about raising your sexual market value is cost, you know, it don't cost you nothing on your end. If she just so happened to see you dating how the chicks, hey, it's like no, no hair off your back. You ain't did nothing. It ain't like you sitting up there talking to her on the phone. So it costs you nothing to raise your sexual market value by dating other hotter chicks. So if she sees that and then she comes back around, then fine. It costs you nothing. But you most definitely can get out the friend zone. It's, it's actually quite easy, guys. And it, any of you guys right now in school or whatever the fuck it is you at, if, if you was to right now go somewhere, meet a girl in the country that's bad as hell, and this girl was coming to football games with you or coming on campus with you and everybody see you with this hot chick, I guarantee you, you're going to have women throwing pussy at you. Period, guys. All right? So, yes, you can get out the friend zone. I wouldn't lose no sleep over it, guys. I'm going to put it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lose no sleep over it. If, I, if you able to date other hotter chicks and they see it, fine, but I'm not finna do nothing else. I'm, I'm not finna be your friend and try to wait to catch you slipping or catch you vulnerable. Hell fucking no. All right, that's 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 a scarcity mindset. Number eight, penis size is the most important thing with being good in the bedroom. That's bullshit, guys. The best way to always be the you know good in the bedroom is always gonna be building the attachment, which is interest level, and foreplay. Always, always, you make a woman come, but you you make a woman basically come before you even start having sex with her. That's always going to be. And that's just going to be the sexual charisma. The way you make her feel when she's with you. You could do no wrong, guys. When you got a woman head gone, when you built an attachment, guys, you could do no wrong. You literally can have a dick that goddamn big. And that woman would think that you're the best thing walking the earth. If you built the attachment. That's always going to be number one. The attachment. Number two, foreplay. And then number three, uh what you got but that's the that's number three by and by a long shot too guys by a long shot building the attachment is always going to be number one that sexual charisma that way you make her feel about that, that feeling you give her when she's with you that masculine frame shit man just turn women on guys y'all guys gotta know listen i don't want y'all walking around like psychopaths all fucking day looking like the terminator and shit I want you guys, you know, you know, have fun and shit like this. Y'all guys got to know how that when you get with these women, man, you got to learn how to turn that shit off and, you know, get in the mag daddy mode. Y'all guys got to learn how to do that. Ain't nothing wrong with having fun with your friends and shit. I don't never want you guys acting goofy and shit. But it's a time and a place where you can have fun and relax. And when, and when you get with your woman, you got to learn how to have that sexual charisma. Number nine, this is a big one. This is in the uh, red pill community. Women only want beta males after they're past their prime. Women want beta males after they've matured. Like, I went out last night, guys, having a good time with my boy and shit. Like, these girls, 
like three, four of them dancing on each other, like 22, 23, they look about that age. They bent all over, they smacking each other on the ass. And now, you know what I'm thinking to myself? I'm thinking to myself, 10 years from now, no girls won't be nothing like that. They probably have two kids sitting in the house, you know, helping the kids with homework. This is just a phase that they going through. They young, they immature, they doing goofy shit in the club. Bent all over. I guarantee you, if you was to film that shit and show it to them 15 years from now, they're going to be like, oh my God, what the fuck? People mature, guys. A lot of you guys right now, you know, 20, 21, 22, you like, doing, you like going out doing stuff. And I'm telling you right now, by the time you get 31, 32, a lot of the shit you're doing right now at 20, 21, you just won't interest you no more. The little thoughts you fucking, a lot of you, I'm telling you right now, most of you guys going to go straight purple pill. At a certain age. Because you're just going to mature and you're just going to say, you know, I don't want to dick them down and toss them to the side of the road no more. I know women ain't shit, but I don't want to live this lifestyle for the rest of my life. Now, I do, but that's just me. A lot of you guys are not. And that's fine. Every, you know, that's your choice. But the point being, guys, this notion that women gravitate to beta males when they pass their prime, that's the, the alpha males done use them up. That the, the women gravitate to beta males or men they view as beta males because they're ready to settle down and start a family. Not because they're past their prime, but because they've matured. It's a difference, guys. It's, it's, a, big, it's a big difference. And, and a lot of you guys right now, you'll see what I'm saying 10 years from now. That the shit you're doing today won't be cool 10 years from now. And what ends up happening is, yes... When a woman gets ready to settle down and start a family, yes, yeah, she would prefer an all-around alpha, a guy that has his shit together and knows how to, you know, maintain the attraction of a female, yes. But a lot of those guys don't exist. So then they just go to the guy, the beta male provider, that's somebody that's got their shit together so they can start a family with and just mature. Bottom line, guys. So this notion that women only go to beta male, you know, to get men that they view as beta males when they pass their prime is crazy. Because some women do, some women mature did like this at 24, 25. Not all women wait till they fucking 40. Some women, 24, 25, start and want a family. It's just everybody matures at different ages, guys. So in my opinion, it's more of a mature factor than uh, finding a beta male provider factor, in my opinion. And number 10, the last one, and this probably could have been number one, you can get compliance or submission from a woman for, from talking. Whenever you guys are arguing with women, I ain't going to say arguing, but talking to a woman or complaining to a woman about her behavior or something like this right here, well, essentially what you're doing is you're thinking that you can make a point to her that she's going to say, oh, okay, I see your point, dear. That's never going to happen. A woman is never going to do that. It does you no good trying to talk and rationalize with women. They only understand strength. That's all they understand. Now, I'm not talking about something that y'all need to compromise on. I'm talking about, like, when you say she's not acting right, say she's, you know, whatever, she's acting very masculine or whatever, which could be towards your behavior. But besides that, she's just, she's being a bitch. Let's just call it what it is. She's being a bitch and moody. And you thinking you're going to go talk to her, she don't understand that. The only thing she'll understand how that's not going to be tolerated is if you pull back or you leave her all together. Then she'll understand that that, that type of behavior, that little bitchy behavior, that shit ain't going to cut it with me. That's, that's the only thing women understand. They don't understand the talk. It does you no good to go in there and get her pep talk. It don't fucking matter. She's just going to get more emotional and try to, you know, die crying and all this other bullshit. So it means nothing. So, if any of you purple pill guys are in relationships, or even you red pill guys got girls in your rotation or whatever you're doing, you're not going to get no compliance from a woman or submission from a woman by talking to her about it. Well, I need you to do this, and I need you to do that. It means nothing to her. She only understands strength, which means you're going to have to pull back or cut off 100% completely, guys. All right, guys. So, those are the 10 dating myths that I hope I dispelled. Uh, I know some of y'all might disagree with some of them, especially the red pill ones. That's fine. You can write that down in the comments. I'll get back with you guys later.